Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Diablo 3. My name is Wilfred. So in this video, I'd like to share with you my experience when it comes to what's next after level 70. Um, so I have 10 tips to share with you. A little bit about my background. I've uh, signed up for this game since day one, but I stopped playing for a while. Then after the Necromancer DLC, I've been actively playing the season journey. Uh, since then, my greatest achievement uh, is only about mid-90 Greater Rift, uh, you know, Take it or leave it. I mean, it could be good, could be not so good, but I think you guys can do a lot better than me. And that's always been the theme of my channel. Uh, I, do, I do have a full-time job, so I don't really have so much time playing games, but I do kind of understand the game design, share with you my experience, and you guys can do much better than I am, uh, I bet. So now, the um, this 10 tips go something like this. Uh, I'd like to take you guys through this journey whereby I assume that you don't know much about Diablo 3. So some of this could be very obvious to you. First thing first is about the game mode and difficulty level. So um, when you level up your character, you could be playing like uh, story mode if you have not played this game before. It's a great way to start uh, understanding how the Diablo lore kind of story works. But uh, a lot of us will jump into the season with the adventure mode anyway. So after a couple of hours, uh, you progress from say, Hard to expert to master, uh, you reach level 70. Uh, what to do after that? You could have torment 1 to 13. Uh, the higher the difficulties, of course, the, the better the, the bonus, the XP, gold, and loot, and so on and so forth. But uh, it may also slow you down depending on your gear and your skill and your build and so on. So I do advise you to visit this website called d3resource.com. Uh, it will tell you the uh, difficulties rating versus the reward that's being given so that you can get get you an informed decision as in like how high you want to reach in order to get the next tier of reward right so that is one in general my advice to you would be uh, to start somewhere you know simple first something you can handle and you feel that things are too easy you up the difficulties uh, when you grew up grew up with friends of course things get a little bit different but I assume that you are playing this either in a solo mode or with a friend with a similar kind of level so no one is going to carry you uh, you can walk your way through no issue majority of my time is uh, just playing with my wife anyway uh, so if I can do it you guys can do it so that's tip number one get the difficulties level that um, that that is that you feel comfortable and uh, play in adventure mode, uh, and that is that is my advice is uh, on that one. Now number two is that a lot of people ask uh, how do you get the gear or set gear and so on. Now the season journey rewards you with uh, with a set item. So I would strongly advise you to start with the season journey to get um you know like the chapter. Right now I'm at chapter four, but you know, like chapter two onwards, they will reward you with uh, with gear already. So um, you know, just go go ahead and pick, you know, complete all these quests. Uh, some of this could be a good introduction to the game anyway, because it will teaches you uh, where to find certain boss, where to craft items or uh, how to enchant your item and so on. So it's a very good tutorial for some of you who may not have. Uh, Play this game before and it's kind of new the whole Diablo series and all these are kind of like you know help you through it's like a tutorial mode and uh, once you complete chapter 4 uh, you'll get the whole full set item now the another thing to think about is that uh, a lot of us will do two things in the adventure mode the first one is the uh, riff uh, sorry the riff itself so the riff itself looks something like this one here uh, you can have the Nephilim Rift as well as the Greater Rift. Uh, the Nephilim Rift is the one that you can uh, you can start playing even when you are leveling. You collect uh, you know something called Blood Shard here. Uh, greater Rift is require a Rift key uh, whereby you can get uh, even better reward. So uh, like the Legendary Gems and so on. So the Blood Shard here uh, is the one that you should be trying to collect. You can collect through the Rift. You can collect through something called bounty. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about bounty later. But why do you care about the blood shot? Well, the blood shot is where you can go to Kadala to exchange for items here. So items here will cause a certain kind of blood shot. So some of them is 25, some of them is 75. I strongly recommend you not to get the 75 ones because these are kind of too expensive uh, to, to spend your, your shot on unless you've got 
everything that you want in ancient or primal ancient i would strongly advise you to uh roll your dice on all these like items now what you want to get depends on what you are missing in your in your items when in, in your in your character when you reach level 70 you may want to upgrade your blazer you want to may upgrade your your boots and so on and so forth so just roll the dice and you know uh, uh buy some of these items and it's kind of straightforward you can just like um you know pick one of these like maybe i'm my pants is still uh uh, a yellow item, I want to see whether I got a set item or legendary item and so on So right now there's not really an upgrade but sometimes you can get upgrade on that one So do that, uh, acquire the bloodshed via the rift that I mentioned before Alright, so that's tip number one And the other thing you can do is that you could also do bounty So bounty is some nothing but like a series of daily quests that you can do So it, smells, uh, it start from at one all the way to uh, at F5, uh, anything with an exclamation mark like the ground bounty card quest, complete it, complete it and you get a chest. Inside this chest there are more loot and also there's something called the, uh, the there's some crafting material as well called uh, you know all this material here, crafting material. All this bounty material will get from at one, two, three, four, five. These materials are very useful for crafting in just a bit. So do that, and uh, you know the higher the difficulties, the more you know bounty material you get. But the whole idea about bounty and rift is a way of just getting the um, you know the, the items here. So I would strongly advise you to mix the two rather than doing a lot of rifting or a lot of bounty. In the end, you need a little bit of both bounty tends to get i mean to me at least tend to have a uh, better loot you have more loot uh, out there but the uh, good thing about um uh, Rift itself is uh, you get something called legendary gems and that le legendary gems can be slot into your ring as well as the amulet and legendary gems can be leveled through the greater, greater Rift as well so that's there's a slight difference between why uh, someone do a uh, Rift sometimes sometimes you know, someone do a bounty but you should mix around the two uh, just to break the <laughs> monotony uh, if, if anything now the um the um once you have the the the, the legendary items that you start to come in you start to evolve your build now you won't get your end game build on day one because it's just not possible you need to collect a whole set of items including amulet or bracer or rings and rings and also the kanai cube as well uh, in order to um in order to make your build work so don't don't be afraid to evolve your build uh, as you get the items, you know, uh, pick skill that makes sense for your item that you have. Uh, some some of the item may require you to uh, to have a certain kind of like for this one, you know, that 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 it, it buff your power A and power B. So make sure that you're using power A and power B, and then you are you are merry about it. Um, so uh, things like that, you just have to pay attention to the items that you have and evolve your build accordingly don't get too hung up on to uh, the end game build must get this set or that set i mean the item will come uh, this is the most fun part of the whole game because you got to change your build on the fly uh, some people hate the fact that you can respect uh, uh, you know anytime you want because you are from a diablo 2 background or from an old school rpg but hey i love the fact that it is flexible i can change the build anytime and you should enjoy that as well evolve it um, uh, don't get stuck on that and uh, that go without saying it's all about getting your paragon point as well because as as you level as you do stuff in the end game uh, beyond level 70 you gain paragon level a paragon level has a lot of good stuff that you could pick and uh, and so on so just do you know rank it up as well it help you in your end game journey um, the other thing that I like to talk about is that like Kanai Cube. So in order to uh, open up Kanai Cube, uh, you know, there's a quest that's given to you by this guy called the uh, Sultan Ku. Uh, and basically what he's asking for is to visit some place called the uh, ruins of uh, Shacharon. Uh, go through the map and there is an altar whereby you can find a Kanai Cube there. And once you find a Kanai Cube, this facility opens up and you could uh, you know, put item here to extract the, uh, the, the power. So once you do that, uh, you could addition to all the gear you have, uh, have all this like uh, extra stuff that you, 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 you get. So for example, if I am choose to um, just give you an example here, um, I don't know whether yeah, so if say I would like to, this is armor, um, so I could in fact like uh, go to this cube, alright, and uh, I could extract this guy out, say for example, and I'm not going to do it right now, but say I'm going to do that. Uh, so what happened is that um, 
in fact, I could do it right now for you guys, so why not do it this way? Um, so I'm going to extract this whole uh, head item out, and then the head item would then go into this guy here. That I will get the full kind of like uh, you know benefit from 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 this item without equipping it, and it's always a max roll here. So things like this are always 100% rather than a range to it. So. Uh, you know, any legendary item that you do not need, chuck it into a Kanai cube, extra the power. You have a slot for a weapon, uh, armor, as well as a ring or amulet. So do it um, so you can get really powerful uh, as you level up. Now, the Kanai cube has a lot of very good recipe for fresh 70. Now, I'm not going to go through everything, but just the one that um, you have to probably pay attention to. The first one, like I said before, extract power. Uh, the material is from doing bounty and henceforth, that's why you need to do bounty to get some of this uh, power itself, uh, some of this uh, recipe or you know material itself. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, talk about the uh, convert set item. So, for example, sometimes you are farming for a set item, maybe health tool or whatever it is uh, that you don't you don't find a lot of them. Uh, but you are missing a few items, but you have a lot of duplicate. So what to do with it? You could actually put in a, a duplicate items. Like for example, if say this is a duplicate items, and I'm not going to do it again because <laughs> I don't have enough mat. But what you could do is that uh, you could go into this uh, this one here. To say I want to uh, I want to convert this one to a random kind of like a set items, so I could keep doing it until my set item is filled up. So for example, I already have like uh, four set items and I'm missing two slots, and I have like a number of duplication. So you can throw this one in, roll the dice again, and see whether it fill your fifth one or sixth one, and so on. So that is in a sense a very very useful kind of like a. Uh, um, recipe for early game, but later on you get a lot of stuff, so you probably wouldn't use this earlier on. But at the at, at, at the at the uh, beginning of the uh, you know stage, you probably use it. The later stage, you probably wouldn't use that kind of like um, you know recipe. So like I said, I'm not going to go through everything here. So crafting of uh, legendary is important. Um, and then later on, you also have something called the Hellfire Ring as well. Now, what does that mean? Well, uh, if you look at this skirt, the Petula, there are some recipe here. Uh, make sure you get the high level one, like this one here. Uh, there's something called Hellfire Ring and Hellfire Amulet. In the past, it was one of the end game item, but now it's getting rarer. I think some builds, like the uh, Barbarian Whirlwind kind of build, would require uh, one of these, like an uh, amulet. So in a sense, what this one does is a, is a very special ring that will have a, a, a very special amulet that will give you a, a fourth passive or for fifth passive. So every character has four passive here, right? Uh, but having the Hellfire Amulet, you can have the fifth one. Uh, so that will become quite useful. So I would strongly recommend, uh, anyway, I think it's one of the season journey as well, to buy one of these, like one each kind of thing. And each one of them will require you kind of material. Now, how do you get the material for this one? There's something called the Key Warden. Now, the Key Warden can be found in places like there's a key kind of sign to it. Um, and the, and uh, so basically, hang on a second. Um, there, there's, there's one, I think maybe it's not Torment one yet, so I think you have to go to Torment one, maybe let me just quickly leave my game. And uh, so there's a key there to kind of tell you where the key master is, and uh, once you, key warden, sorry, then uh, then you could basically, you know, try 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 to down it. Uh, at the lower Torment, like Torment one, I only have half a chance for the key to drop, but the higher Torment, I'll actually get it. So like the key here, there's, uh, there's a key. Uh, the the Putrinus key, and then you have the uh, you know every ad from at one to at uh, f four, uh, you have key there. F five you don't have a key, so there's a key there. So you go to the map. They have a purple arrow to show you where the key is, key warden is. Down him, uh, there is a chance that it will drop uh, a key. Basically, uh, Torment one half half a chance, but when you come to Torment four, guarantee chance. So uh, you do that. Now after you've got the key, what do you do? Well, you go back to to, uh, to add one uh, nutrition, and then go to the. Uh, one of the place, if I if I still recall where it is, yep, it's over here. Uh, you can open up this guy here, um, and then you can go in here, and you can open up a portal here once you have the key. So that is how you do uh, some of these like uh, double boss. They have double boss there. Pretty hard sometimes for the beginners, but uh, you know you just need to do a torment one. And I think with the season journey, they give you a set item anyway. It will get a lot easier. So with that, you can use it to craft the hellfire ring, hellfire amulet, and uh, and get you kind of like started. Uh, you know. Uh, at, 
you know, at the right kind of gear. Now, the other thing that um, just a little bit uh, last two tips is really about crafting for ancient items. So there are the ancient items like this guy here, for example, uh, that has a yellow box around it, meaning that the stat in general are higher, the rows are higher. If it is a fixed row, uh, your higher percentage is the same uh, than a normal kind of like a legendary. So how do you get this one? Well, you can farm for it, but the, uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to get it done. Get, get a job. So say for example, I have these items and I would like to, uh, you no, know, this is a bad example <laughs> because it's not a level 60 a uh, 70. So I have this item here and I like to get a ancient version of it. So what you could do is that you can come to your Kanai cube here. There's something called Reforge, um, uh, Reforge Legendary. So you can put one here, fill it up. Now, of course, I don't have enough material, but say if you do, you can craft it again, 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 you reroll it. Now, Ancient is one in 10 chances to get an ancient. So if you roll it 10 times, you very likely to have one. Um, sometimes you get lucky. The first few rolls you have one. Primal Ancient is the one with the red kind of like a text around it. When you solo a Greater Rift 70, uh, Primal Ancient will start to drop. Primal Ancient is nothing but ancient, but with max stats everywhere. Uh, so it's like the most powerful ancient out there. The probability of getting an ancient is 1 in 10. The probability of getting a Primal Ancient is uh, 1 to 100. It's still not impossible. Some people have enough material to craft this 100 times to try to get the Primal Ancient. And uh, sometimes people do that. Uh, you know, once you're at end game, it's easy to get some of this material. So crafting of ancient is important. I would advise you to craft it for the weapon or offhand because this gives you the best value for money. Uh, with your limited uh, number of cra uh, uh, crafting material, you throw this one in, do it, do it ten times, you get ancient out of it. If you have an ancient weapon, uh, you would have a much higher DPS, uh, you know, kind of thing. But do the one that you want your final build to be. Don't just randomly pick anything to try to turn it into an ancient, all right? The last tip is really to have fun. Um, you can research on the internet on what build you want to, um, you know, uh, go go to us. You could go to icveins.com, my favorite website, to see what are the builds out there, what are the options out there. You can go into the Diablo website to look at the league leaderboard and see how people does it, what kind of gear they use, what kind of like a build that they are using. At the end of the day, it's about you because you you are the one who like the game style or not. Sometimes you may find a character too fragile or you know you should put some uh you know use use some build or, or gear that will help you to survive better. Sometimes you feel that you know I need a little bit more mobility. So you change things around, swap things around. But most importantly, you know, it is really about beating your own target in a season journey and then go to the next one and then the next one. So I hope you found this video uh, useful. Do feel free to drop me a note uh, if you like to learn more about uh, how to start your uh, season journey or even any question on Diablo 3, I'll try to help. All right, see you next time. Goodbye.